welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lenann. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. My channel? Well, it's all about crochet. A little bit about knitting. A lot about yarn. Mostly it's about my journey through this fantastic yarny community. Returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Monday with me. Um, I really do appreciate it. You know what? If you could do all the things that, face, that YouTube likes, you know, hit the like button, the subscribe button, leave me a comment. It'll really help out. I, I really appreciate it. Um, so today is Make Along Monday, and I have two finished objects that go along with the Make Alongs that I'm doing. So I will start with the Judy's Creations in Crochet. Her monthly picture of tropical birds that you have to take some colors off of it and make it into something. Well, I made what is it's called the Bandito Cowl by Chris Basta of Chris Crafter LLC. She's on Ravelry. I'll list this uh, cowl in the description box below. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. Those are always great. Um, it is done in worsted weight yarn with an five mil five and a half millimeter hook. This is the hook that I used this five and a half millimeter hook and this is the cowl and all right I'm going to put it on but it's really really hot today but is this not cute to wear under like a little jean jacket or just I don't I just thought it was really really cute I love the styling of it this could probably use a blocking a little bit and it would probably be even better, but it is really cute and cuddly and super easy to do. And that's it guys. It's too hot for this. So I used this yarn that I picked up at the flea market. It's called uh, cherry tree hill farms. I believe, uh, this colorway was called um, Martha's Vineyard, and it's what they call their thick and thin, and it is kind of a roving style, and it's got a little bit of glitter in it with all the pretty purples and the greens, and a little bit of brown, and some pink, and of course I have a ton left over. Uh, the uh, pattern itself calls for 170 yards of yarn. And then the purple I used, has disappeared. I think it's out in the living room still. But this was uh, some Knit Crate yarn that I had in my stash. So, and the reason I went with this yarn, the purple yarn, for the top part in the neck is because this is super wooly and super scratchy and nobody wants that up around in our neck. But I... I don't think it's going to be bad, you know, down your chest, especially if you have like on a, a t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt and you throw this on with a cute little jean jacket. So darling. So that is the bandito cowl. And it's really simple. It's just single crochets, two single crochets, skip a stitch, two single crochet. And then once you have your triangle as big as you want, then you join in the round and go around, 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 around. And then in the top, you do a row of double crochets to give it even a little bit more stretch at the top so it's not, you know, choking you at the top. Super, super easy, lovely shape, and I think it matches the colors pretty perfectly. You know, okay, I'll hold this over here. I'll pop the picture here. I think it works pretty well with the picture, don't you? So that is my Judy's Creations in Crochet for... April. Now, I got to get pictures done and get them sent off. Hopefully, I can get that done before we leave on Wednesday. <laughs> oh boy. You know when you go on a trip and you think you have everything ready to go, then you realize you leave in three days and there are a million and one things that you have to do still. Anyway, so the second thing that I finished, and I have already sent these pictures off to uh, Jan, is the hooker versus hooker challenge. Now, if you don't know what the hooker versus hooker challenge is, 
I'll list um, Laura at Van Mimi Crochet and Farming and Jan the Alaskan Crafter. I will list, I'll list them below. You can go check out their channels. But what they're doing is just a fun little um, contest without really being a contest um, where they are challenging a podcaster and a subscriber to do a project. The four of them will be doing the same project and the project is picked out by um, a couple of other people, subscribers and podcasters. So yeah, here we go. This is their little shenanigans deal. Now they've been doing this for a while. Um, last year they did one with Seta and it was a wall hanging and they liked how it went. So they started in January for this year and we have done a bag, a plant, a bowl with three things in it. And now this month is an amigurumi. You guys know amigurumi and I do not really go very well. Um, I find them to be extremely tedious, but I gotta tell you, this one that I did I think I, I see myself making some more of these. My granddaughter, Charlotte, has already claimed this one, but I told you I was gonna make a turtle, and I made a turtle. And she has a crown of flowers, but she also has a flower on her shell, and there's the tan. And this is my little sea turtle. And this was not hard to do. Um, it's, yes, it's made in a bunch of little pieces. I mean, even look, she's got a little teeny tiny tail. Um, and her little bug eyes. You make the shell is in three pieces. You make two identical pieces of this size, and then you make the outer shell with the flower, and that's a little bit bigger, so that when you sew it on, it kind of overlaps. So you don't really see the second shell, but that way you can't see the stuffing through the flower. Um, and then you make these little circles that you turn into little flippers and you sew those on. Um, you stuff the little head and then you put, you know, the eyes on and stuff the little head. Now these little flowers, they're just, you know, uh, I, I think it was a Hooked by Robin tutorial I watched years ago where you do um, four triple crochets, then single crochet into the circle, then four triple crochets, and then single crochet into the circle. So you have four petals. And then I added, you know, a blue, a little orange to the blue one. And did I put, I put pink inside the orange one. You can hardly see it. And then I left the pink one alone. And so the colors are tan, green, blue, pink, and orange. So I got all the colors. I used just some big twists laying around that I had. Uh, this one is the straw in, no, this was a pound of love. This was big twist olive. This was the hot pink. This was the neon orange and then just some medium blue. The eyes I got, see how they have the sparkly blue eyes behind them. Those were uh, safety eyes that I got on Amazon. Um, they came in a big bunch of different sizes. This is the smallest size I had. And I have to tell you guys, this pattern is by Loops and Love. And it's called the Sea Turtle Amigurumi Pattern. And I don't remember. Let me double check. I'm checking my Ravelry. I don't remember if it is free or not. Sorry, bear with me. Uh, yeah, this is a, uh, it was a paid for pattern. Now she has an entire ebook with eight different patterns in it for about $17. And it was a $3 pattern. Um, but it's, she's in Canadian funds. So it says it's $4.30. But in uh, the US dollar, it's $3.26, I think, something like that. Um, uh, 
I used a three and a half millimeter hook, you guys. I think that's the smallest hook I've ever used. Um, but it was so, so easy. And can you just imagine all the different fun colors that you could do in that with all the different flowers? It would be so cute. And you don't have to put those flowers on. I just did because I said she needed a crown and that looks like a crown to me. But you could just leave this part off and just have, you know, all the fun colors of the shell and your little turtle. So, so cute. It's the perfect size. Like I said, Charlotte's already claimed it. She saw me making it and she's like, she needs it. I'm like, okay, it's yours. Um, but yeah, I definitely, it, this didn't take long. Um, I'm not the world's fastest uh, little crochet person. I It takes me a while to do this. This took me, uh, well, not constant sitting down and doing it, but this took me about four hours. But these, the little pieces, they don't take a whole lot of time. This, I think the, the flower part of the shell was the most time consuming because you're changing colors. But once you got here, you know, to do the two solids and then your flippers, you're just, you're making a bunch of circles and it really is not difficult, but I think in the end it turned out so cute. And uh, yeah, I think I'll be making a couple more with some different colors. I don't know who I'm giving to you. I mean, I, I love turtles, but somebody will want, maybe I'll, I'll make one for Olivia. I think she'd like that. I should do that before we leave. I should make one for her too, because I think she would like that. And I wonder if I could find a pattern without a flower and make one for Carter too. Anyway, here we go. Not that I don't have enough things to do that I'm, I'm trying to make more for, for my, the rest of my grandkids. Oh, good Lord. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that is make a long Monday. Um, I am going to catch up on, well, I don't have to catch up. I am caught up, but I will be doing my squares for Jackie's, uh, crochet ADHD, her, um, hip to be square. I'll be taking my yarn for that on my trip and I'll be doing that out at the dunes. We'll probably do a video on that on Friday while we're sitting out at the campground. I'll take you along and show you our little trip. Um, and I am working on another project, but I'll show you that on Wednesday um, and talk about what crochet do you take when you're going on a camping trip and it's a two day drive away before you even get there, like all day driving. Like we're leaving here like at seven o'clock in the morning and I'm thinking that we aren't going to get into the campground till like four or five o'clock on Thursday. So we're going to be doing a lot of driving. Um, so, but you know what? It's going to be worth it in the long run. It's going to be a great long weekend to see family and get out of this heat for a few minutes. Cause you know, it's been really, really hot here the last couple of days. So it'd be great to go back to, uh, you know, 60 degrees and I get to pull out all of my great crochet sweaters and my scarves and my, my, my shawls. I'm really excited about it, you know, cause here I don't get to use them that much. So anyway, um, I'm going to let you go. Um, yeah, I'm going to let you go. I hope that you guys have a fantastic week. Um, that you're taking care of yourself and giving yourself some grace, but above all, make sure you're being kind to everyone. Please, please, please be kind. Have a great day.